Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I picked my 2024 Teens in Oregon Mustangs horse. I have on my screen here all the different horses that were selected for my division. And this year, I'm again in the adult riding division, and there are 45 different horses that we get to look at. Spoiler alert, I did kind of already pick my horse, and I already know who it's going to be, but I'm still going to go through them, kind of explain to you guys why I picked the horse that I did. Pickup date is April 27th, which is coming up in, I think, 23 days now. Um, so... This is a little preview just to get excited because I will be posting videos on this mystery horse. The horses we're going to get to choose from are usually between the ages of four and possibly even seven years old. So typically when I'm looking for a horse for this type of challenge, I'm planning on selling them. And so I'm looking for major selling points. Usually I'll look for a gelding. It's just my preference. I like mares, but they don't sell as well. And the goal is to get horses into forever homes. The second thing that I look for is confirmation. And then the third thing I look for is age. Maybe those things are switched around. I might look for age first, I don't know. But that's typically what I go for. Then lastly, selling point, I look for color. Um, another thing I consider is the herd that they're from, is there's some herds that I don't particularly like as much as others, and we'll, uh, we'll be seeing that here today. This year we have a couple different herds to pick from. We have South Steen's horses, a couple Stinking Water horses, Hog Creek, and I think, and Palomino Buttes. I think that's it. There might be a couple mixed in there. Okay, so let's get started. Here we have all the different horses. The first one we're looking at is this cute little bay mare. Up in the left-hand corner, you can see um, their tag number, the herd, the sex, the age, and the height. Um, first look, I like her build. She's got good conformation. She looks a little, a little bit hot. If you look at how her, uh, her feet are here, she's got a little bit of spinning action going on. So not, not my top pick, but I like how stocky she is. I also, I want to stay in the three to five year old range. The younger, the better, as long as they're healthy. Um, just because their temperaments tend to be a little more workable and bendable. Okay, so here we have a gelding. I like that. This guy was added after initial selection. Uh, I really like his color. Um, he's super cute, but he is too old. So we're going to move on from that one. Okay, another Salstein's mare, seven, over that age range. She's a little taller. She looks cute. I'm trying to tell what is going on with her eye over there. I think it's just the lighting in the picture. I don't know. She's cute, but not for me. I kind of like this mare. She's five, a little younger. Okay, I could do that. I like the dapples and the spots pasterns look a little drop yeah maybe not my favorite but I do really like her color she looks sweet oh Maine hello okay so this is a gelding six years old no wait that is a mare that's the one that was the mare okay so take a look at this right here this is their tag and their tags are in in this corral, they're either green or they are red or pink. If they're red or pink, then they're a mare. If they're green, they're a gelding. This one is incorrectly labeled and is a mare. So unfortunately, we will not be looking at this one. I was trying to remember, why didn't I like this one? Because he looks super, super cute. But um, yeah, it would be because he is a she. <laughs> okay, getting some different color here. So right off the bat, I see this right here. It says hot, and sometimes they will put little remarks after the tag number, or little like warnings, I would say. And for the most part, they're pretty accurate. So anything that the program says is hot, I steer clear of. I like that she's kind of stopped in this corner. We haven't seen a lot of photos with horses 
not being in motion. She's got really good build. I like how she's put together. Um, she's younger, which is good. She's taller, which is good. Um, but I don't love having that much white because it gets really dirty. Um, otherwise, I really like her. Ooh, this one's different. Blue eyes, mare, four years old, 15 hands high. I know I just said I didn't like white and that still, that still rings true, but this one's cute. Next. Oh gosh, we're only on number nine. I'm gonna have to speed this up a little quickly. This is a bay. I personally love bays, but they don't sell very well. So we're moving on from this one. Ooh, we have a cute little roan. I'm a sucker for roans. I don't love this one's confirmation too much, but it also could be poor conditioning. I don't love how the um, croup area is very angled downward. I like strong back ends that can carry them through. Uh, her mouth almost, no, she's just tense. I was going to say maybe she's a parrot mouth. Um, she's four years old. That's, that's good. Conditioning just looks bad. I think, I think she's actually a, probably a pretty good little mare. Just needs some more food. Here we have another Celestine's mare, four years old. It's an, this is an interesting picture. I can't quite tell if she's walking or trotting. <laughs> She looks sweet. She's walking slow. I changed my mind. She is walking. I like her eye. She seems a little curious, not too scared, um, but she's a mare. Another roan. Boy, look at that. Another hot one. I did hear from some people that the roans in this competition are supposedly very hot from people who went and visited and went through looking through all the horses. So same story. Oh, this one's cute. I don't love that it's not spending a lot of time facing the cameraman, but you also can never tell in these photos. Um, it's just a snapshot in time. I like this one. Another mare. She's gorgeous. I think she's liver chestnut. Yeah, she's beautiful. I like her build a lot. Appy spot is the note on this one. Oh yeah, it does look like there's a little spot back there. Sometimes it's hard to tell if that's scarring from battles out in the wild or if it's actually an Appaloosa marking. I like her two-tone tail, but yeah, she's Saustine's mare. Good age. A little on the short side. I love her little face here. She's really cute, but I'm not looking for a Saustine's mare. Oh, look, another Celestine's mare. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything really stand out about this horse other than the color. Um, it's cute. Okay, we're getting into the buckskins. This is a five-year-old Celestine's mare with a little heart nose. I actually love this mare. She looks super, super calm. I love her little matching socks. She's got great conformation. If she wasn't a mare, I would definitely consider her. She's really thick, too. Um, but yeah. Okay, another Celestine's mare. I don't like this one. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm getting weird vibes from this horse. Maybe she's just scared and it's weird photos, but passing on this one. Like a Pinto Roan looking thing. Very cute horse. Me personally, I do not love white legs on a horse just not my thing but whoever gets this one enjoy oh are those little like almost looks like little spots near the hooves could also be dirt but okay what is this stingy <laughs> apparently this horse is stingy not quite sure what that means um but you can kind of tell with the ears maybe a little on the sassier side gorgeous dapples though Oh, look at that scared little eye. Sweet mare. She's seven years old, which probably explains why she's looking a little, <laughs> a little freaky. Um, but all in all, looks relatively calm. Her nostrils aren't too flared. And she's in a chute, so. This is another one that's added after initial selection. 
Yeah, not much to say about this one. Okay, here's the Salstein's mare. We have not seen any geldings yet, except for the uh, gelding that's actually a mare. <laughs> this one's a lot like the other one. I like that she comes right up to the camera. Her wither is a little confusing to me, and her back. It might just be poor conditioning, but she just looks like she has a very long wither. And her mane comes all the way back, which means she might have a very, very short back, which can be difficult to saddle fit. So that would be one of my considerations with her, but it's a mare and she's seven years old, so we're passing. Oh my goodness, color, color, color. So we were told that roans were hot. I like this mare. I like her eye. I like her forward ears. Confirmation's good, except she's kind of long backed and she's skinny and she looks a little camped under. But I don't know, seems like a good mare. Love her thick, thick mane and her little dishy face. She's probably crazy, but I'm gonna put her as the next number one. Wow, we're getting a lot of variety all of a sudden. This is a five-year-old dun mare. I get bad vibes about this horse. I'm sure it's fine, but yeah, I'm not really liking her face. It's a pretty face, but looks like a very scared face and confident face. Okay. I know they say not to judge a book by the cover, but that's literally what we have to do in order to <laughs> pick out our horses. Um, some challenges, they'll send you videos, but not this one. This time we just got pictures. She looks younger than seven to me. She kind of has a baby face. She's cute. I like this horse. I think I just have a suck. I'm, I just like long manes. I think that's it. She kind of reminds me of that other buckskin we were looking earlier, the lighter one with the long withers. She kind of has that same thing going on. Seven years old, Salstein's mare, really flared nostrils, so super intimidated by what's going on, but she's very unique looking. Oh, I like this one. I think I've said that about most of them. Um, I'm a little concerned about that wither. It's almost like peaked. Doesn't look quite normal but she's really cute. She's got those white legs going on, rocking them. I'm not seeing anything confirmation wise that really jumps out at me as bad. She's got a nice thick um, hindquarters to her, really well muscled shoulders. Yeah, I think she's good. She is, you can tell she's staying far back though and she's looking at them at a distance so she's really intimidated by what's going on. Um, maybe a bit more fearful. Oh, looks like she has a twin. This one is really cute. Six years old, Salstein's mare, same story. Get, we've been getting a lot of older Salstein's mares, which I don't love older. I don't love mares for this kind of competition. And I don't like Salstein's horses for this kind of competition. So this one's really, really cute. I'm gonna put her as number two so far. I just like, I like her eyes. I like her ears forward. Um, I like how she's checking in and she's at a walk. Maybe she's trotting here, but she just seems really calm. Yes, her nostrils are flared, but she just looks very curious. Okay. Zostin's mare, look at that. I don't like this one. She has cute eyes though, but a little too plain for me. Here's another plain one, but I actually really like this one. Maybe this is just a really good picture, but she's just lined up really nice. Here we have a black horse. I love black horses, but something about this face tells me no, don't get that one. So another chestnut. No. This one's cute. I thought it was gonna be smaller. It's actually 15-1, which is on the bigger side of these ones. Looks flighty though. 
it's an interesting photo. I can't tell if she's built slightly uphill or if she's just tucking under. I like her. She's cute. Okay, this one, just like the other ones that looked similar to her. Although I like that she's looking at the camera and her ears are forward. She's just kind of clued into what's going on. There's another Roan. Man, she's beautiful. I love her light forelock. Okay, so she's from Hog Creek HMA, which is a smaller HMA. Everything I've seen from Hog Creek has been fantastic. Um, I definitely recommend that herd, but she is a mare, so I'm going to pass, but I like her. Her body condition is really, really low, um, so I think she's going to have a really, really good looking glow up. Okay, a gelding! <gasps> Yay! Okay, so this is a Palomino Buttes gelding. I've never fully trained a Palomino Buttes horse. I've worked with them, and so far... I've really liked them. Everyone I've talked to who's had one has really enjoyed um, that herd. They say that they're more quiet and friendly and easy to gentle and train. Doesn't look like we're getting any three-year-olds this year for our division anyways. There might be some in the teen riding. Okay, so this guy, he's really cute. Definitely has that little gelding face. Look at those, look at those nostrils. Oh, I like him a lot. I don't know if I like him more than the first horse that I said was my number one. We'll call her Pepsi. She kind of has that fizzy look to her. And then the second one was Root Beer. We'll just put him as the new number one for now because I really just don't see myself getting a mare. Okay, here's another Palomino Buttes gelding. He's seven years old, which rules him out. Okay, Palomino Buttes gelding, five years old. Oh, I like his little star. He's cute. Um, but again, he kind of la lands in that same place as the last gelding we were looking at. Um, and he looks a little more frightened than the other one. So we're going to keep this guy as our number one gelding. Okay. Palomino Buttes gelding, five years old. I don't love that his face is over the panel. And his eye is super, super wide. And it's not that... A scared horse is a horse I don't want because sometimes those are the best horses so seeing his head above the rail is kind of just icky for me but he's really cute he's a little on the short side but he's five years old and he's Palomino Buttes so we'll consider him Crumello okay first look <laughs> this guy's big he's 15-3 um, he's cool looking, but <laughs> as I said earlier, I don't really like white and I do not like that face that he's making. So that, um, that's called snaking and it's something that they do out in the wild to push other horses around. It's a stallion behavior and doing that kind of behavior. It tells me that he has had a lot of practice out in the wild pushing other horses around, which means his way out and his way of responding to pressure might be more aggressive than other horses and so this is this is an absolute no probably would be my least favorite of the lot so far but otherwise he's got really good build um some people just adore Cremelos, so I'm sure he'll be snatched up by the right person I also don't love how dropped his um pasterns are just notice that okay this guy, ooh, we have a quiet note on there. That's, that's a good sign. I'll take it. Okay, so he's Palomino Buttes, gelding, five years old, 14-3. So everything that I'm seeing here is like average and safe. He's quiet, which is good. Palomino Buttes, great herd. He's gelding, which is what we're wanting. Five years old, little older than what I would want. But since he's quiet, it's like totally fine. 14.3, kind of an average, average height. He looks a little skinny in this picture, um, which tells me he's going to fill out and be really thick once he's eating and, and healthy. So he is a, um, not just a buckskin, he's a buttermilk buckskin. 
by the looks of it. So a lighter colored buckskin. Um, doesn't look like he's dappled. He kind of has a short, choppy looking mane, but that's fine. And you can see in these pictures, he's stopping and he's kind of looking, checking out what's going on. His eyes look a little worried and his nostrils are a little flared, but he still looks really submissive in these pictures, which I really, really like. So this guy is going to be my new number one gelding. Yay. Four years old. Oh, sweet thing. Another Cremello. Looks pretty scared. So again, we got those tense lips that almost look like a parrot mouth, which I don't really like to mess with. He's cute, but not really what we're looking for. He has that dropped hind end like we were talking about before. But this guy, I think he's going to be one of those diamonds in the rough that is going to have a great transformation. The worst photos that I see on here, I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to see how they look in the end. Um, so quick recap. I liked this one. I liked this one. I just like how long her legs are. She's just gorgeous. So Pepsi, root beer, and this one. This guy would definitely be my number one, hands down. He checks all the boxes and he's one of the only ones to check those boxes. And if I'm not mistaken, I might've missed it. I think he's the only one that had quiet emailed me back and let me know that I did get the gelding and his tag number is 8290. So those are all of the horses for adult riding and my initial judgments on them. I am only looking at them for half a second, maybe 30 seconds, so I could have missed some things or misjudged them, but that's really all the time you have to pick your horse. So let me know what you guys think, which horse you would have picked and if you like the one that I chose. Stay tuned for more videos. Please subscribe if you wanna see more content like this and like the video below. See you in the next video.